Now we've covered tipping trainers. Now let's cover tipping from gamblers. Uh, so if you fight in any of the local stadiums, the fights are probably going to be five rounds. Usually five round fights have gamblers present. So gamblers can approach you at any time, before the fight, during the fight, and after the fight. If a gambler approaches you before the fight, proceed with caution. And I'm going to explain why. Before the fights, uh, a lot of times gamblers would just kind of walk around and do some research on who is better, who is more experienced, who is more in shape, who is stronger, so they know uh, who to place their bets on, right? So if you see like a random person just come up to you and ask you a bunch of questions or like actually like grab your arm to feel for muscles, yes, that does happen. They're just trying to see who to place their bets on. But unfortunately, some of these gamblers, they try to manipulate the outcome of the fight. And this can be done in different ways. These gamblers, um, you really, really need to be careful of them because some of them might say things like, hey, make sure you throw the fight and then I'll give you a big tip. So this, will, this might happen if you're the favorite fighter and if they bet against you, they, they have a higher chance of making more money because of the odds. If you agree to throw the fight, they'll give you a, a cut. That's usually agreed upon before. This practice is unethical for many reasons. I won't, okay, I won't say a lot, but there have been a number of Thai fighters who have agreed to do this because whatever they, they're getting from the gambler is way more than whatever they're gonna get paid as their fight purse. And at the end of the day for Thai fighters, it's just about the money. But do know that if anyone finds out, uh, the gambler and the fighter, um, they can be banned from entering the stadium or even banned from entering other stadiums. Another way some gamblers trying to manipulate the outcome um, is by offering a fighter a drink and they put poison in it. And this has happened to a lot of high level fighters like uh, Sang Mani. Sang Mani was uh, hospitalized and sick for a number of months because this happened to him. This has happened to fighters like Kem, Sitong Pinong. So uh, if a random person gives you a drink that's already open, just says that they bought it for you and stuff, don't drink it. You just don't know where the drink is from. If, if you go to a, like a club or something, and someone just offers you an open drink and you didn't see it being prepared, you wouldn't take it, right? At least I hope you wouldn't take it. So in a, in a fighting setting, this is, this is no different. Someone you don't know, a complete stranger, gives you a drink that's already open, do not, do not, do not take it. This is not to say that all people who do this are trying to poison you, but I am saying that a lot of gamblers, they have done this because they want to bet against you. Again, <laughs> unethical probably illegal and extremely extremely dangerous so you can't control what someone is trying to do but you can't control what you do if someone approaches you to either offer you to throw the fight or to give you some questionable drink so if you receive money or if, if a gambler is offering you money before the fight use your judgment and assess the situation sometimes but not often money is offered freely and without any expectations all right so if this is the case and you're sure this is the case, it's likely safe to accept this, right? Sometimes like a gambler will, will give uh, a fighter uh, a little bit of money to kind of motivate them in a way. Um, but if, uh, if, the, if this gambler seems to be pressuring you or asking you for a certain outcome, decline. Your safety is at stake, your reputation and uh, a lot of other things are at stake on top of it being very unethical. You might even want to report this to someone at your gym, like your trainer or the person who helps set you up with fights and have them handle it by either talking to the, the promoter or talking to uh, the person who owns the stadium and make sure that people like this don't end up harming other fighters. During the fight, uh, gamblers can approach you and offer you money to win. This is called an injection because they inject money into the fight to motivate fighters to perform better so they could get the win, right? And if they get the win, then the gambler wins and then you win as well. So the money that they inject into your fight is, is pretty straightforward. Um, maybe after the second round or third round, they'll tell you like, hey, I'll give you a thousand baht if you win. Um, big time gamblers could offer more and I've seen gamblers um, at like Raja Dumner offer fighters like 50,000 baht. Hey, tell your fighter that if he wins, I'll offer you 50,000 baht. So this works very well for Thai fighters. Again, like I mentioned before, they fight mostly for money. So this is a big motivating factor for them, especially since like bigger injections, they're way bigger than their original fight purses. This is a little bit less motivating for Westerners and foreigners that fight 
because the reason why most of us fight is not for the money. The money might be like a smaller factor at hand, especially if we're struggling to kind of make ends meet as a fighter, but it's not going to be the main motivating factor because after all, the people like, like me and probably you who can afford to choose to be a Muay Thai fighter when we also have options of doing like almost anything else, uh, money is not a motivating factor for us or not the main motivator, I should say. So uh, we covered uh, gamblers approaching fighters before a fight, during a fight, and gamblers can also approach, approach fighters after the fight, right? So if they made a good amount off a fighter and they were impressed with their performance, they might tell a fighter to, hey, come on into the stands, I want to give you a tip. So sometimes you see the fighters uh, go up into the stands with the gloves still on and then this gambler might put like a lot of money into their mouth. Sometimes gamblers uh, will approach your fighter and they're impressed by their performance and they just want to tip the fighter because they made some money off of them or they want to motivate them. Hey, keep training hard. I really like the way you fight. You can really make something big out of yourself and they'll give the, money, the fighter some money. 